Shalom, this is part three. And uh, for you who have, have watched one and part two of this video, um, uh, I want to apologize to you because there was one scripture where I said that the Gentiles was a part of the, uh, the, the 12 tribes that were sealed in Revelation 7. Actually, that was an error of mine that I, I made, you know, I made an error. But then, the Most High put it on my heart to go back and recheck that. So I went back to recheck that, and he had me to correct that error. But maybe that was him testing me. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. Maybe that was him testing me to see if I would allow pride to allow me to stick with that because I didn't want to seem like I was wrong. Or to see if I would correct it. And humble myself beneath his word. So I, like I said, I was thankful that, that he allowed me to be humble. Because my intent is to tell you the truth. You know, so that's, that's, if I have a job in it all in him, you know, I'm not competing with anyone on how I'm giving his word. I just want it to be the truth. I just want it to be the truth. That's all I want. So that's, that's why I gave, I went, I went corrected that. But also, uh, always uh, study the self, so you're self approved. You know, so. Alright, let me uh, continue where I left off. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, I said, for I say. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but think soberly, according to as God, I'm using the term God, because I'm reading from the scriptures that it is. Of course, the Israelites know it's, he's Elo. Uh, some call him Yahuwah, some call him Yahweh, you know, different names for him. Uh, whatever you call him, uh, uh, he just know he is. He said, he said, first you must know who he is. So just know who he is. Okay. Um, also, don't think less than yourself than you think than you ought to either. Think what he says about you. He said he thinks good things about you. You know, he said he said I think good things about you that you may come to an expected end. You know. So that's why I speak his word and whatever his word say, that's what I am. His words say we are Israelites. That's what we are. He said that we are a royal priesthood, a, a holy set apart nation. He said uh, at one point he, he said no no weapon formed against you, and he said and you are righteous because I have declared you righteous. He, he said that. He, but then he said another point. He says, but now you are sons, joint heirs with the Hamashiach. So if we are sons of the, he said another place. He said I am a great king. That's what he said about himself. So, is it wrong for the Hamashiach to be called a king? Is it wrong for us who are part of the Hamashiach, who are the sons of the Most High Elo, to say that we're kings? If we're the son of, of the great king? That's not thinking no more of myself than I ought to, or no thinking more self of you than you ought to. That's the truth. And then, like I said, you know, people... Say they don't believe in uh, the scriptures, but they do believe in dictionaries and things like that. So that's why I went back to Webster's 1828 dictionary. Plus, you go to other places. It's not the only place that says it. It says race. I'm going go down to one. The lineage of a family. Because, you know, it's our continued series of descendants from a parent who is called the stock. A race is the series of descendants indefinitely. Thus all mankind are called the race of Adam. It said the Israelites are the race of Abraham and Jacob. Thus we speak of a race of kings, a race of Clovis, or Charlemagne, a race of nobles, etc. So... You have a scriptural basis for it. Now you have a, a, a well-renowned, respected man who was of the world, who is not an Israelite, who said that. 
back in 1828. And then, how do you tie that to the Americas? Or to America? Because they had a, a place called Israel Hill. Talking about the, the free Israelites and the other free African Americans. Now, that's bringing the Israelites down under, you know, talking about they're free. That's because they were subjugated. But before any subjugation, that's what he said, you're a race of kings. So there's, you know, that backs what the Most High said. Now, you know, people can get angry. But all I'm, I've showed you proof. That's not, now I know you can get angry at me if I was just saying some things and not, didn't have any backing to back it up. Yeah, I would be angry at me too for saying something like that. That's a bold statement. That's, but that's why I, I've shown, I can show you other places too. And other 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 uh, men and women who Israelites have shown it and proved it through their documentation and findings they're found in different books outside of the scriptures that verifies these things. So, so if you get mad at me, you just have to be mad for being mad. Sake, I've shown you proof, not just coming out of my head. All right, so let's see here. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, right? So we being many are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another. Having then gifts different according to grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of our faith, our ministry, let us wait on our ministry, or he that teaches on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another. With brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing in instant in prayer, dis distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving to hospitality. Bless them with per that which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but descended on men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lies with you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. See, a lot of times when people were doing you wrong, I'm, you know, there are people that you must consider yourself when you make this statement. That's what I'm considering myself. Uh, all of sin is falling short. So I've done wrong. Um, I, I believe I can honestly say, though, I have not done wrong with the intent to hurt anyone intentionally. I've done wrong probably out of blind sightness, out of ignorance, out of, um, well, how can I say this? Uh, what is the word he used earlier? He, he said, they have, what do you say, the Israelites had a, um, a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So I had a zeal in a lot of things. When I was earthly minded, I had a zeal towards what I was doing, not considering with knowledge, because I was very ignorant. So basically people can lead me astray because I trust people. You know, so. But thanks be the most high is that he's, he's always left a, a way for escape through the truth.
Thanks be the Most Highest that He has a people in the earth in high places that looks out for people that were like me, ignorant. Until I can come to a place so I can have some understanding. Now that I have some understanding, of course, I'm still under the the, uh, the wisdom of the Most Highest because He's the Most Highest. Nobody can know what He knows. But that's my overstanding. I'm sharing the overstanding I have with uh, the Israelites and then the, and the Gentiles. Okay, let's see here. I see, if, if, it is, if it be possible as much as lie with you, live peaceably with all men. And for the most part, the targeted individuals, you know, the, the, the reason I'm so much on the targeted individuals, um, not only am I talking about just people that's targeted from the standpoint of this full blast targeted, but the Israelites have been targeted as they acknowledged for over 150 years. Since before then, what they've acknowledged is 150 years on this land, this uh, loyal soil. So from that point, the Israelites are targeted. So, and, and also, those uh, honorable Gentiles are targeted. You know, so people are, are targeted on this land you know, from all nations for one reason or another, in some capacity. Now, another scripture I believe you said, those who will live righteous shall suffer persecution. Basically, those who try to live righteous shall be targeted. Simple as that. But then this is the hope. Dear beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto the wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt reap heat, coal, a fire upon his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. And the powers that be are ordained of God. See, this is where... People will say, well, you see right there, that's, that's what the Most High is saying, uh, be subject to the laws of the land. Well, that's what exactly what he means. At one time, there was a law of the land, it's still here, but the law of the land was what uh, the people were subject to as far as uh, the higher powers because... The people are the government on the land. But then they created something that is not the law. That actually is conflict with the law. You know, so. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive in themselves damnation. So let me see here. Let me just consider though. If I'm wrong, forgive me, Abba. But let's just consider. Abba don't like lies. He said nothing that make it a lie shall enter into the kingdom of him, his kingdom. But yet... They have a law of the land that says one thing, and then the the, uh, the color of law says this is an actually in direct violation of the law of the land. So is Abba supporting the color of law? And he and this is the same LO that says that he does not like lying, and nothing that makes it a lie shall enter into his kingdom. So you mean to tell me he supports you supporting a color of law? That's an Direct violation of the law. I'm just saying for consideration. 
If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you know, that's that just seems like that it contradicts his very nature. So is is this is this scripture being taken out of context? That's all I'm asking. It said, "For rulers are not a terror to do good works, but to the evil. Would thou then be a, be afraid of the powers? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister." Of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. Okay, if y'all if thou do that which is evil, the law of the land says one thing, but then there's a there is a something called a color of law that is in conflict with the law. So the color of law is in conflict with this scripture. So if you're doing the color of law, you're doing evil. But what did he say? For he is a minister of God to, to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Now, let's go to the 501c3 church. If they gang stalk you for what they call evil, I'm just talking. If they gang stalk you for what they call evil, but yet they have a head over them that's not the most highest, isn't that evil? Some people, no, but that's, you know, that, well. Is it? Because anything that's taking the place of the Most High, that's evil. That's idolatry. False worship. Is it? I'm just asking a question. So how can a system that says it loves the Most Highest, yet it has something over them called that can tell them what to do, which actually has the authority over them that replaces uh, the great elo. That can tell them you can't say certain things or do certain things. Is, are they re truly representing elo? Or is that evil? Just ask the question. Now, you make up, you make up your own mind. I'm not judging. I'm just, you know, I'm just considering these words and consider that. Measure it out. It said, for he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, you must need to be, need to be subject, not only for wrath, but also for con con conscience sake. For this cause, pay ye tribute also. For they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. But he that loveth one another has fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So our gang stalkers, even in the 501c3 uh, places that they call churches, you know, because you all must consider that uh, the people are, is the temple of the Most High. So there's people in those buildings that are gang stalking people to try to make you do what they want to do. Is that loving thy neighbor? Because you don't want to do what they want you to do? And they don't even do what the Most High tell them to do? They don't even preach a word that uh, talks about the, the, the Son of the Most High as the Scriptures has said? They don't even tell you who the real people are in the book? Or is that keeping the law? 
do they have the right to really uh, judge you when they don't, when them, they themselves don't even keep the law? In truth, isn't that like the Pharisees? I'm just saying, consider, and the Sadducees and all of them. I'm just asking. I'm, a, I'm asking real questions. Answer it for yourself. In truth, be true to yourself and tell the truth. Be honest. And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. That's why he's waking us up. To know who we are. To know the truth. And he's also uh, by necessity others are telling us who we are. And telling us that we are free. They're not making us free. The truth make, he said the truth shall make you free. It is the scripture, some people misquote the scripture. Some people say the truth shall set you free. No, he said the truth shall make you free. Another place, he said, come out of her, my people. He didn't say ask to come out. He said, come out of her, my people. Then he then then also he had another people to say to tell you that actually has authority over those in the earth to tell you you're free. Now there are those who don't want to let you free. So what did he say? He said, no, don't go, don't fight him. He said, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. That's when he's going to come in and do what he do. He do it well. Remember the story in Egypt? When Moses, when he went, because everybody was being treated bad and all those sort of things, but he, he rose up Moses. And then the Most High had to show up. Okay, I don't let my people go, huh? All right. Stand back and wait on the salvation of the Lord. And that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on arm, the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness. Not in chamber, chambering and wantonness. Not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Uh, this is Proverbs 14 and 31. He that oppresses the poor reproaches his maker. That right there is showing you why he said the rest of those nations were spittled unto him. Because when you're oppressing his people, you, you basically uh, putting your hands up against him. Like, let, let's get it on. And he said, no, nah, you know, I didn't call you to do that. I'll take care of it. But he that honored him has mercy on the poor. And when he's talking about poor, he's not talking about uh, finance, fiat, gold, silver. He's not talking about that. He's talking about your spirit. Humbleness. And humbleness don't mean fake humility. Going around, oh, I'm so humble, but yet still you got you. you you're full of pride. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I can even be that by myself. I'm just saying. All of us have that uh, uh, possibility. But it's a mindset to be humble. Man, I'm so, you know, I'm so humble. You can't talk humble unless you got to be humble. And you can't have false humility either. You're trying to tell everybody how humble you are, yet and still you're not humble. Psalms 11 to 5. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. Proverbs 6, 16, 23. These six things does the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him. 
a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imagination, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, he that soweth discords among the brother. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart, and tie them about thy neck. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall take talk with thee. For the commandments is a lamp, and the law is and the law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Matthew thirteen twenty four and thirty. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From which then hast it tares? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. Lest while ye gather up the tares, you root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow unto the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, then bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat until my born. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Pulled this up. I can't remember what I was doing with it, but I'm going to read it because all the scripture is good. Thus says the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things that has mine ha hand made, all for all those things has my hand made, and all those things have been, have been, says the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, of a contrite spirit. And trembling, trembleth at my word. He that killeth an ox as if he slew a man. He that sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offered the ob oblation as he offered swine blood. He that burned incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighted in their abominations. I also would choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. And when I spake, they did not hear. But they did uh, evil before mine eyes, and cho chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out of my name, cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to you to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendered compense to his, recompense to his enemies. Before uh, she travailed, she brought forth, before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? Israel has been born at once right now, waking up at one time. For as soon as Zion traveled, travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, says the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, says, says thy God? Rejoice ye, Jerusalem, and be, be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy of her, all you that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her cons consolations. That you may that you may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory, 
But thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a ruler, and the glory of the Gentiles like a, a flowing stream. Then shall you sup. You shall be born upon her sides and be dandled upon her knees as one whom his mother comforted. So will I comfort you, and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like a herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants, and his indignation towards his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fire, fury, and rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire his words, his word, his sword will uh, the Lord plead, with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind the trees in the midst, eating swine flesh, and the abominations in the mouse shall be consumed together, says the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall be, it shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a, a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them into the nations, to tarnish, to pull, to, to love, that draw the bow, to two bow, and I, I uh, to the isles afar off, afar off. This is the 1611 version, so you know you have to read it because it's spelled different. That have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they shall bring all your brethren from a, uh, for an offering unto the Lord out of all the nations upon horses and chariots and the litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain Jerusalem says the Lord as the children of Israel bring an offering in the cleanse cleans vessel into the house of the Lord and I will uh, take of take of them for priests and for uh, Levites says the Lord for as the new heavens and the new earth which I make shall remain before thee says the Lord so shall your seed and your name remain and it shall come to pass from one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, shall the flesh, shall all flesh come to worship before me, says the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the, the carcasses of the